Vitamins in Orthopedics. Vitamin D. Vitamin D and PTH, which is parathyroid hormone, are important in calcium hemostasis. Vitamin D is naturally found in tuna, salmon and cod liver oil. Vitamin D and K are not present in sufficient quantities in breast milk. Vitamin D production in the body. The precursor for vitamin D is found in the skin. UV light converts this precursor into pre-vitamin D3. The pre-vitamin D3 will then be converted in the liver to 25-hydroxy-vitamin D3. In the kidneys, it will be further converted into 125-dihydroxy-vitamin D3, which is the active form of vitamin D3. PTH regulates this active form of vitamin D3. Active vitamin D3 stimulates absorption of calcium and phosphate from the intestine. Low vitamin D levels leads to rickets. Vitamin D deficiency rickets is the most common form worldwide. In adults, it leads to osteomalacia. Lucozones are stress fractures in patients with osteomalacia. Darker skin individuals should have more sun exposure. Vitamin D resistant rickets is the most common form of rickets in the United States. It is also known as familial hypophosphatemic rickets. It is an X-linked inherited disease. In osteomalacia, the defective mineralization of bone leads to a qualitative defect of bone with a high amount of unmineralized osteoid matrix. Osteoporosis, on the other hand, is a quantitative defect of the bone. Vitamin D deficiency is considered when blood levels of 25-hydroxyvitamin D3 fall below 20 nanograms per milliliter. Vitamin D levels are usually found to be low in patients presenting with low energy fractures. Vitamin D deficiency is also found in the majority of patients with endocrine and metabolic problems presenting with the fracture nonunion. Dilantin, which is used for the treatment of epilepsy, inhibits vitamin D formation in the liver. Decreased exposure to sunlight and decreased intake of vitamin D are risk factors for developing multiple sclerosis. Recent research has also demonstrated a link between low vitamin D and B12 levels and the development of Alzheimer's disease. The daily requirements of vitamin D are between 400 and 800 international units. Vitamin D and calcium supplementation are also used in female athletic triad. Vitamin E. Vitamin E affects peripheral nerves and is a major antioxidant as it stabilizes free radicals and reduces the potential for oxidative damage. Vitamin E prevents peroxidation of fatty acids in cell membranes, helping to maintain their normal fluidity. It also has some enzymatic activity. Deficiency of vitamin E can lead to hemolysis, neurological problems and retinitis pigmentosa. Vitamin E is found in corn oil, wheat germ, sunflower oil, milk, nuts, avocado, asparagus and broccoli. Vitamin K Vitamin K is needed to introduce calcium binding sites on vitamin K dependent clotting factors in order to activate them. Without vitamin K, the blood will not clot. 
This process of introducing calcium binding sites on vitamin K dependent clotting factors is called gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid. The vitamin K dependent factors are factors 10, 9, 7, and 2, which could be remembered as the year 1972. Vitamin K is found in green leafy vegetables. Causes of vitamin K deficiency include fat malabsorption, prolonged use of broad-spectrum antibiotics, breastfed newborns, and infants of mothers taking dilantin. It is important to differentiate between vitamin K and vitamin C deficiencies. Both vitamin K deficiency and vitamin C deficiency lead to easy bruising and bleeding. Bleeding time will be normal in patients with vitamin K deficiency, but it will be prolonged in patients with vitamin C deficiency. Prothrombin time, on the other hand, will be increased in vitamin K deficiency, but will be normal in vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin K deficient patients do not have connective tissue problems, while vitamin C deficient patients demonstrate skeletal deformities gum hyperplasia and bleeding, and poor wound healing. Coumadin is a vitamin K antagonist. It affects vitamin K metabolism in the liver, leading to the inhibition of the vitamin K-dependent clotting factors 10, 9, 7, and 2. The therapeutic target level of Coumadin is an INR of 2 to 3. It takes approximately three days to reach that therapeutic level and takes another three days to reverse it by vitamin K. Fresh frozen plasma would act immediately on reversing the effects of Coumadin. In the case of heparin, protamine sulfate and fresh frozen plasma would work immediately on reversing its effects. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.